Hey guys, Diceboy22 here, and I just get out of got out of work, and I'm doing this review in the car again. I know. Oh, this car is actually ah, never mind. I can roll down the window later. Um. So yeah, this is the um SD Sangokuden um Musha Gundam or Musha Gundam. Um. Oh jeez, hit my head on a door. I'm all whacked out. Um, this is the SD Sangokuden. Sangokuden. Uh, who, damn, who gives a damn? Um, Sangokuden Soso Gundam. Um, he comes. Uh, he comes with two accessories. He comes with either this blade right here. Which, I don't know what it's called, because I haven't watched Sengokuden in a while. And that's a series I actually want to finish. And then, um, there's another one that's pure yellow, which you... Or yellowish gold, which you have to paint. This one's originally just pure white. But I went over it with some Gundam marker. Even the handle I had to go over. Um, Sengokuden kits are very sticker-heavy. So there's um, two stickers on the chest, and the rest of that is two stickers on the chest. Um, let me try to get my finger in there. Um, basically, in the middle of the chest, here and here. The top, the bottom, are stickers right there. And um, the rest of that is just gun marker paint. Um, as, for, um, as for the hands, you're only going to get two. And those are on him. That's it. That's it for hands. You don't get anything else. And um, I've been watching Gurren Lagann lately, so that's kind of why I have um, Solso in that whole like Kamina like pose right there. As for what I think of Gurren Lagann, it's okay, but it's not. Oh my God, spastic material. But we're not here to talk about that. Um, his cape also goes. Um, can like separate go out for more dynamic poses the stickers are not that good as you can probably see here that one's coming off a bit so I like from this angle I can see some shadow on the yellow part from the sticker so I might end up painting that later I'm not sure and um, a funny thing is, I noticed on the sticker sheet, is you actually get um, two sets of eye stickers instead of just one. Um, which is kind of funny because I could notice, I could not notice any distinct difference between them. Um, and I did some lining, uh, mainly on the face. And um, uh, what else do I have to talk about? Oh yeah, I used some Gundam marker up here on the helmet. And that's pretty much it. Um, what I think of this figure, um, Soso Gundam. Soso is actually my favorite warrior within the Sengokuden series so far. But I'm not going to rate it based on how I like it, but I'm just going to rate it fairly. Um, I'd give this kit probably a 3 out of 5. Um... They could have given us more hands. Um, it could have just had you build the weapon. And um, let me see here. Um, this guy isn't too sticker heavy, but still, I would have liked. Um, I would have liked some stickers for the other sword. That's um, pure goldish yellow. Unfortunately, I don't have that on me right now, so if you'd want to see that, you'd have to watch someone else's review. Like my, like I said, my reviews are like very awkward. I really don't like mess around with it too much. I don't do articulation or anything. I basically just try to do my best to explain what needs to be explained. Um... Oh yeah, I don't have the instruction booklet on me, but in the instruction booklet too, it comes with like a little like, just like a little mini comic of the um, what was he called, the uh, Ryofu Talgis or something. Basically, just like 
battling, doing a special attack, or something like that. And then, um, oh yeah, it also, it also comes with a comparison of what this guy's design was kind of based off of. It um, shows the high grade um, double X, one to one hundredth, and it also shows the SD um, double X, one to one, not one hundredth. Ugh, man, my head is uh, freak, freaked up. Okay, so the the SD double X, that's what I meant to say. Um, overall, I like this kit. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. If I'm going by X-Play ratings, I'd probably have to give it a 3 out of 5. Um, why I say that is this kit could have had more. Like, for instance, more hands um, for posing. Like, heck, God Gundam came with two fists, two holding hands. And, um... Well, actually, no, no, no. God Gundam came with one holding hand. That's right. And that was for this side. Um, but yeah, God Gundam came with a lot more hands for an SD. I mean, if I could see that more in SD kits, I'd, I'd be happy, actually. Um, well, actually, did God Gundam come with two fists? I, I'm not sure, but I'm just saying, this guy came with two holding hands, two fists, and everything that would make this guy a whole lot better, more pose, posing possibility. So for now, I'm just going to keep this guy in like the whole coming up pose thing. So to end this video, um, just this guy gets a 3 out of 5 in overall. So yeah, this has been Diceboy22. I hope you guys enjoyed this little car SD Gundam review thing of Soso -So Gundam. And I will see you guys later.